What's up, what's up, what's up, party people? <laughs> hey, man. So you just you just got you another one, Chris? Hold on. Can I set it out? <laughs> you gonna turn up the day? Yeah, we gotta turn. I'm on my coffee, man. I got that good old cup of Joe. Woo! Gonna set it off. Eddie. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for hanging out with me today. Hey, class. Chris Haskins with the real estate roundup.com, where our mission statement, our ministry is to raise the financial literacy of our fellow mankind. Hanging out with Mr. Transaction. What up? Woo! Is a transaction in the house. Let's make some money, guys. Hey, if you tune into this, hey, you tuned into the best channel in the world. The best channel in the world. You're going to get a lot of free information, real stuff with real people doing real deals every single day. We're in the trenches, man. We're in the trenches, flipping real estate, buying, selling, holding. Everything, man. Living in everything. And one thing, too, people got to remember, too, everybody want to flip, flip, flip. But what, what about when you don't feel like doing a flip? You need that residual income to cover them bills. Because you don't want to touch your flip money to pay the bill money. You want to have that residual income high enough where it take care of everything. In case you want to go to the Bahamas for two months, you're still getting paid every month. That's a nice that, so that's the hey man, that's and all that getting get residual income. You know what, Eddie? I don't want to lose what we were talking about a second ago. Today's training is going to be we want to show you our favorite ways to find cash buyers. But Eddie, <clears throat> what about what the old boys told you when you were first getting in the game? I'm I presume it is the exact same thing they told me about holding versus selling. Well it well, the guys taught me, you know, you want to flip some and you want to hold some. Flip some, hold some. You don't want to sell everything you want to. Because I'm going to tell you, Chris, I, I, I walked into that. Well, I didn't listen. You know, men, we always want to reinvent the wheel. So, you know, my mentor told me you want to have residual, start building residual income when you first get started. So, you know, to cover your bills. So when the market tanked in the, in the 07, 08, Chris, I was a flipper. I'm uh -huh. wholesaling and rehabbing, but now the market crashed. Everybody in there frantic, going crazy. The news media running you away from the money. Don't buy. Oh my God, foreclosure at all time high. So they running the people, the average people away. So my business just stopped. It wow. died, down, man, for probably about six to eight months because I was wow. focusing on flips. Wow. Um, that's scary. Hey guys. That's scary right there. You gotta get that residual income in, man. Yeah, but, residual. You're right, Eddie. I'm like, man, that is my people see all the stuff. It's weird because they only I'm I'm reading the book, you know, the millionaire next door, man. He's like, uh, building wealth is dull and correct. unexciting. Right. Wealth is dull and unexciting. And it's like you see you and I doing the deals, flipping paper, doing renovations, building second story houses. But that shit right there is cool, but my long-term holes is what really keeps me going, Eddie. Right. I think you're right about that. But you were talking about, I gotta get this one more thing before we get to our cash buyers. You were talking about how you didn't, you were contemplating doing another flip. I wanted to touch on that real fast because I wanted to, I have a different philosophy on that. Go ahead. Well, you know, it makes sense. Because, it, I mean, it's the cold month, so it's going to take you about a good two, three months to get your renovation rehabbing on the market. So I say probably in, this is October, November, December, January, we should be putting it on the, on the market. Now, I haven't found it. Well, I got a couple. I got wholesalers send me deals every, every day like crazy. So I got the new investors I was telling you about, the private money guy. Yeah. Um, he ready to do something. So. We gotta just locate something and lock it down. 
go ahead and get something done. That's right, Eddie. You know what? I was, I was thinking about. I was gonna hold off, but I mean, the money got. We gotta work the money. Gotta work the work. That's exactly what I was gonna say, Eddie. There comes a time in every man's life where you have to <clears throat> income. All, Millionaire real estate of the millionaire next door. Offense, defense, offense, defense. You can only make so much, Eddie. You have to figure out how to manage the money you said and you hit it right on the head. You got that money, dude. If you don't get it working, guess what? Somebody's gonna come knock on that door and somebody else will get that money working, Eddie. Yep. You know? Hey, they say if you don't direct that money, so hey, something else is gonna take it. I'm telling you, man, and that's a problem that. I just want my viewers to know that earn, earning money is not the biggest challenge. I remember I used, I used to hear Pete Diddy, Puff, talk about when I was in the music business. It's harder staying in the game than it is to get in. It's harder to, it's harder to stay. Mm. It's easier to get in. It's easy to get in the game. But staying in the game, dude, is like a whole other world, Eddie. Right. You know, because you, you might have one, two, three, four, five hundred. You can't spend it on. You can't consume it. It has to go out and work. Right. So and for me, gotta work. you got to work the work. Yeah. For me, yeah. Eddie, what I've done is I've aligned myself with guys that are experts, man. So I just kind of, I'm a pure, I'm a procure of finance, and so I'm my specialty is raising money for people. You know, it's been I've been blessed to be able to do that. So I team up with guys that can find deals, and we come together do the deal. So I can be off, but I will tell you that they are experts. You know, it's not like they're wholesalers. I would I wouldn't do that with a wholesaler because you're buying a job. Right. It sounds like you might have a personnel thing where you want to put in place where you don't have to be there because we were talking about the time it takes to do a rehab. Yeah. Well, my son, you know, he's he's working with me in the business now, so he's about to go full time. I'm thinking about another two to three weeks, so that'll be a good job for him. I am him managing that rehab. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. But you still got to train him up too, though. Yeah, I got to train. At least so I have to be there like every single day. I could at least be there like twice a week with about three times a week. Come fall in three or four times. Somebody's gonna be there, right? Yeah. Tell our viewers what happens when you don't show up for a rehab for a few days, brother. Um, the contractors, they don't show up either sometimes. <laughs> then you have some work not getting done or something get done wrong and you weren't there to guide them. So they close in a wall that you may want open. So you just gotta be there. That rehab, man, you got to be present, man. Don't think you're just going to get a rehab, hire a crew, and it's over with. You got some babysitting <laughs> to do and some directing. People think that, too. They're going to just go buy the deal, the contract to do everything. I thought, you know, they try to cover up stuff. Then you're two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 in. They didn't cover up something, and you got to back up. Ooh, I hate that, man. Oh, my God. That's the worst, man. You got to go back and tear out some stuff that – already was done it didn't supposed to be done oh my god that's Woo. right all right okay class so make sure if you have questions put them in the box over there unfortunately we can't bring you in live but if you put your city in there if it's a popular city if the city that you're from is in the middle of nowhere just put your state so we know who we are reaching and who we could possibly come to town what town we could go to to bring a seminar to right Eddie, one of my favorite and one of the easiest things in this business is finding a buyer for a great deal. Finding a buyer for a great deal. If you got the great deal, the buyers are gonna come over to you like a vampire. Yep. Yeah. Would the you numbers agree? work? If the numbers work, so I would say before this, before the internet, man. Well, the internet been here a while, but before you can buy different lists. Like before they made it so easy accessible to buy private you know lists with buyers on there we used to find out the area that we got the property in get an agent to um send us a list of the cash transactions in the area and then we would either contact the agent or contact the buyer and let them know about the property we have so that's one good way to find cash buyers through the now, agent tell me this eddie you found an agent to pull a list of, re repeat that so I can, I just want to get a bullet on that. So I have an agent pull all the cash sales in that area where I have the house for sale.
And then if you have a little wiggle room in there, you can afford to pay the agent. They're going to definitely go to work for you. And you know, sometimes to make the deal work, we may cut them in at about, we may do 3% or either 2%, 2 to 3%. Or if you got a tight deal, I mean, I'll just contact the, the buyers, pull the address up, contact the buyers. But now you can pretty much buy a good list from um, different people that'll sell you cash buyers list. So well, we want to give we want to give them people that you know may not want to buy a list. That's what I was thinking, maybe. Okay. But we could obviously yeah, the internet. I think you hit that on the head too, man. The internet's good God, it revolutionized how people are looking for stuff. So a real estate agent pulls comps. Tell me about that. <clears throat> Is Not there a comps? Huh? They pull, they pull it for sale, cash sales. Okay, okay. So we're talking about sold. I'm talking about when I say comps. These are sold houses or active houses of investors, Eddie. Sold houses. Okay, so when I say comps, I'm saying these are well. I'm, okay. Generally speaking, comps are just comparable. Yeah, comps. yeah. you can say comps. Yeah, I mean they're the same thing. Uh, the, the, yeah, comps. Eddie's. We're saying the same thing. The sold right. properties. Right, right. Comparables that the, the cash uh, cash comparables. It's the same thing. All it is is a house that's sold, right? Right. I think that's a that's man. That is one of the. Yeah, I'm gonna second that, Eddie. Well, as we're going down our list, that is one of my favorite ways because you know when you pull that little, they're gonna do a little search, right? Right. Your house is right here. And the agent just pulls souls. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I like that. So tell me, is there any criteria that you have other than that somebody that sold a cash deal, bought, bought one cash? Yeah, we, man. Now, that's a big strategy we use when the market crashed. So we was flipping them wholesales, a lot of, um, not wholesales, sorry, a lot of short sale deals. Yeah. Man, we contact them agents, they bring the buyers, and we was, oh my God. We did a lot of transactions, probably about 200 short sales. Yeah, short sales transactions. That's one of my favorite favorite strategies. Maybe we'll do a webinar on that, Eddie. Which one? I love short sales, brother. I, man, I'm, I mean, that's been some of my, you know, it's like you're creating equity out of thin air, right? Yeah. That's been some of my biggest flips, too. Yeah. Biggest flips. Yeah. Okay. Let me look at my notes. Now, another good way, guys, to find cash buyers is through. Um, let me get my laptop plug. Through um, going to the courthouse steps. Look at the major players out there buying. Look at the guys who buying properties out there. Man, you can go to any courthouse in any city around the sale date. Boom, there go your cash buyers right there. That easy. You gotta apply yourself, Smokey. You gotta do what? You gotta apply yourself, Smokey. <laughs> like on Friday. You gotta uh, apply yourself. Just go to any foreclosure auction, man. You got buyers out there like crazy. Now you got a lot of people looking, but look for the people who's bidding, who got their little sheet sheet out, they're bidding on properties. And you're gonna see typically the same people every every foreclosure sale they at the steps these guys out here they got cash because you gotta you gotta buy cash at the courthouse steps you gotta bring the cash you know, cash money so those are your cash buyer guys it's that easy go out there get you a little flyer if you got some properties get your little flyer pass your little flyer out give them a business card you take their business card hey they your cash buyers list that easy Take one day out of your life and go to the courthouse steps, wherever you got the property at. Boom, your house sold. In the end of the seminar, guys. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Eddie, you know, in the in this in this internet four-hour work week, social media, inter, everybody blasting stuff online, non-communicating to people, world that we live in. Do you think it's challenging for people to get in their car, drive down to the courthouse, introduce themselves to people that are buying houses? Do you think that's a challenge for our viewers? Heck yeah, some of them. Some of them, because like you said, Chris, this technology and these phone with texting and all this stuff is 
really kind of it's a good thing but it's kind of a bad thing also because it's taking away the communication from people you have people scared to interact and stuff so yeah in this business it's a people business so you got to deal with people so you better get 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 rid of those fears yeah this is the people business class so these these are going to be wow my favorite eddie foreclosure auction matter of fact i'm a buyer i'm one of the sharks at the auction i love it when somebody comes up to me and introduces themselves. how you doing sir my name is joe blow i'm a real estate wholesaler and from time to time i come across houses below market value would you mind if i collected your information <clears throat> that's somebody, it. huh that's it it's that easy if somebody approached you know if you somebody approached me with some sense and the words coming out of their mouth and they look professional eddie i'm going to entertain them at least I'm going to at least give them an opportunity to explore an option to work together. Right. <clears throat> now, when you go up to these people, don't go up all timid, you know. Uh, well, uh, and they don't like to be necessarily called a cash buyer, you know. I mean, they know what they are. We know what we are. But when you approach them, you you want to always keep in mind what can I do for you? What can I do for you? How can I help you? I got something for you. <clears throat> and my analogy is always. You know, just like a stay-at-home mom, they love to get the deal. We have nothing but sharks in a bucket. It's like the shark tank. If you're going to drop a deal in there, I promise you, you know, it goes quickly. We're looking for the next deal. We're eating them up. <clears throat> yeah, good deal. You, you get enough buyers around it. Well, you get the right buyers around it. Good deal is going to sell. Be gone. And if it doesn't sell, you either got two problems. Either it's price too high or it's a piece of crap. One more, it may be in a war zone. They may need a bulletproof vest when they go do the rehab. So <laughs> you want to yeah. stay out of that, stay out of those areas, man. You wholesale unless you got like some people like to be landlords in the war zone. But that's bait. You really that's all you can do though in the war zone. Just buy them and hold. Yeah. But then you gotta think of the mindset of the tenants you gotta deal with. I got a coach who told me to go down there, Eddie, man. He's got turn high turnover all the time. <clears throat> Yeah, that mindset, man. That mindset over there. Yeah, it's rough. All right, what else you got, brother Eddie? Let me see what I got. You want me to go with one? Yeah, go. See what you got. One of my favorites, man, <clears throat> is going to be my signs. <coughs> oh yeah, the handyman special signs. I'm sure you. I mean, I was. I, I know I'm reading Eddie's mind from time to time. <clears throat> the signs just says. Uh, you can either put handyman special house for sale cash cash cheap Fixer uppers, man. You can put fix. We we can put fixer uppers on the sign, also. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put that one up. What you got on the Eddie fixer upper? Fixer upper. Fixer upper. Fixer upper for sale. Right. And you can also just post ads. You know, Craigslist, Zillow. Put the put the properties on there. We'll get to that. Yeah, let me do that. Let me get to that. We'll get to that one. Eddie. We're going to go down one at a time. So okay. the signs, fix the upper for sale, <clears throat> handyman special, house for sale, cheap. You put these signs at the entrance or the exit of a Home Depot. Good God. Ooh. Boy, that phone will rang off the hook. Good God, Eddie. I remember one time, man, I had 20 calls in a day. And you put a price say even if it's a super if it's a killer price, forty thousand or thirty thousand, yeah, your phone will ring off the hook. Please don't take these phone calls. Put you know, put your phone number. X, 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 X. When you put your phone number down, try not to take them, send them to a voicemail so you can capture the phone number and call them back. But these signs have been I've sold I've sold sign houses around the country with these from coast to coast to coaching clients. I've seen it work. <clears throat> and don't just go out there and put one, you know, people tell me, well, Chris, I put a sign out. Yeah, one sign. Get the out of here. Man, you got to put down at least 
at least it depends on how bad you want to sell the house. You want to sell the house in five months, put out one sign. No, you probably even want to even sell one sign. <laughs> Let's you be to make it work, man, you, you're gonna need at least put out a minimum of 50 signs. I like to flood the block. When we cut when we got a house, we want you to know. <laughs> you're doing it big, man. I would say a minimum of 15. Well, you got a bigger area. Yeah. And we try to tear the whole, we try to tear the whole area. We like to hit also, guys. You got the signs, make sure you hit like the major intersections. All the we we hit like everywhere where the stoplight is. If it's a long road, you know, if it's a long, busy road on that side, you say on the right side, you you you're looking at the light right here. On the right side is the grass over here. And just say traffic, you know, it's a high traffic area and it may be 30 or 40 mm -hmm. cars at the stoplight. You want to put two or three signs going down on that right side. Put one. Mm -hmm. Then go take you about 10 more steps, put another one down, 10 more steps, put another one down. Now they're gonna take them up. So I I, I recommend put them out on Friday evening and taking them up, you know, Monday morning or even <laughs> Sunday night. But I kind of like the, that traffic to be, you know, I kind of want the people to, in the traffic Monday morning to see the signs also. Man, I just leave, I just say cost of doing business, man. I just leave them up. Sometimes we'll pick them up, but Nah, we don't pick them up. Yeah. But these we signs are gold. Hmm? I said, yeah, we don't pick them up because, I mean, it costs a couple of bucks. And you'll spend more money going to pick them up. And yep. all that. Just get you some cheap signs. And we actually, oh, I'm going to tell you one that we, we love to use, especially with the rent to own properties. We look for the rent to own cash buyers. When we do that rent to own sign, but we would go, we would go to like um, the dollar store and get signs the bright signs they may be like have a pink fluorescent fluorescent pink or green or something like that we get a black mark and write on those man they were man they were miracles especially for rent to own because ladies love that pink so they you know they gonna look and the ladies are the ones who buy the houses anyway so they're gonna oh that phone <laughs> gonna be right good man <laughs> I'll tell well, you. so they, they have the corrugated uh uh Material at doll, at the dollar store now. I didn't even know they had they sold it there. Well, it's not like the real actual signs, but it's a strong enough material that they have. And you know, you can put them on. You could just we just nail them on onto sticks that you, we get out of Home Depot. Nice. I think they're about how long? How, how long are those stakes? They're stakes you can find at Home Depot. I think they're like twenty four comes in a in a in a bundle. Yeah, or twelve. Yeah, 12, 12, that's right. They only like about, what, four feet, three or four feet tall. Get them out of Home Depot. You're Get you're getting the face, you're nailing it on to the sign with your with the roof and nails. Roof and nails, yeah. That's a good one, Eddie. I mean, you know what's weird? Both of us are experts, and sometimes we, we know the business, but sometimes it's good to get reminded from time to time. Yeah. Definitely. So hey, signs, they work miracles. So th those now that was three strategies, Chris, that we gave them that don't cost you any money at all. If you got the Perfect. time, if you got the time, then you can you can do deals. If you got the money, you need to be paying for people to help you. But if you don't have the time, I mean, if you don't have the money, then you can just do these three little things: go to the courthouse, put out signs, and get a realtor to send you all the cash transactions in that area. Boom. There you go. That's something. That's something. Yeah. You know what, Eddie? I mean, even though it, we we still have the money to do it, but I, I mean, to to, to me, this is kind of like getting going back to your roots, getting yeah. down in the street, and you're gonna meet so many new people with this. It's like you you might meet the next lender or business partner or contractor. Right. It seems like always the basic stuff. It it just still works. The basic. The basic yeah, the back to Back to the basic, man. Yeah, good. All right, so we get three there. Let me see. Any ones you want to? Any? Oh, you said the internet. You were saying running ads. Go ahead with that. Well, running ads, you know, it's free. So Zillow, you Zillow, Craigslist. Craigslist still working out there. I got students sending deals from Craigslist from time to time. Would you say internet ads? 
Right. And once you get a little extra capital, you can have your VAs running that, putting an ass on that for you. Because that's, so that's not the best use of your time. We got Craigslist. Now, this ad is going to be the same thing as cash cheap, house for sale. Right. Cash wow. cheap, fixer upper, handyman special. You want to put, we usually put on our um, signs the purchase price. Uh, we're asking forty-two thousand after repair value one fifty repairs twenty. Gotcha. Or you can leave the repairs out because I mean, realistically, the repairs gonna vary depending on the individual who buy the property. So yeah. they may want to make it look average. Where versus, I may want the house to look average. Where Chris may want it to shine as soon as you come in the door. Marble everywhere. Yeah. Hardwood floors, granite countertop, marble countertops. Well, I just come in and put a little Corian in there <laughs> and put it on the market. <laughs> you know what? I, 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 I don't put, yeah, I don't put repairs either. I'm like, look, it needs needs house needs work, you know? Right. Because you That's know what people what I found people be like, well, you said it needs this. Yeah. Every time they start. You said it needs twenty thousand. This house needs forty thousand. That's why I told you to do your own due diligence. Yeah, they, do do they come back pointing the finger. You said this. You, I'm like, you know what? I'm done with saying what a house needs. You know, you right. do your own inspection. So, you know, now they have Facebook Marketplace. Oh yeah, Facebook Marketplace, pretty good too. I just started using that, Eddie. Man, I'm just so old school. I know, man. I had to get around to the times, man. I you know, I, to I don't, I don't want to be doing this stuff, Eddie. But it's almost like it pulls you over there, you know. Yeah. Internet. You said Zillow. It used to be. It used to be a company called. I used to put it up there, and they would blast them out. It was like hot pads or. I can't even remember. I guess Zillow bought them all up though. Yeah, seemed like it. Anything else on that internet side? <clears throat> any any free sites, guys. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't pay no money to post any ads when all the free ones work just as well. All right. You want me to got? You want me to go with one? Yeah. Any anybody class, please add how you're finding your cash buyers on the side over there, so we can share with our viewers. Comment on how you're finding cash buyers and shoot us any questions. One of my favorites, Eddie, back in the day, brother, was going to be my Section Eight list. Mm, yeah, I forgot about that one, Chris. Thank you for that one. It's been a while since I hit that list, too. Oh, man, this is gold right here. You can, and you know what? It's free. Uh, it's all free, Eddie. I forgot about that one. Good thing, Chris. I'm glad you brought that up. So what I, what I do, what I used to do is go down there to the, well, now they call it the Housing Choice Voucher Program. Get the list, you got the paper's phone number right there. And I had something called a call broadcast. <clears throat> call broadcast. And I would leave, Eddie, I could dot, type in a phone number, right? Well, I would upload all their phone numbers into this spreadsheet. And then I could, I left it, I would, I would call this uh, the call broadcast company and say, hey, this is my name is Chris Haskins. I'm a local real estate investor. I've got a house that you probably would like. It's a three bedroom, one bath selling it for four, selling it for forty thousand dollars. It needs a full renovation. If you're interested in taking a look inside, give me a call at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you for your time. And I hung the phone up, Eddie, and it would broadcast out to all all the people, all the numbers that I had. <clears throat> I don't know if you I don't know about you, but I'm I'm I get a broadcast probably twice a week from somebody trying to sell me a credit card or some type of health insurance. Do you get that <laughs> down there? Oh yeah, man, all the time. Every day. You get it. <laughs> every freaking day, man. Every day. I, I just block them. So they stop sending me stuff. But every day it seems like somebody it's a medical student loan people trying to get you to do something um car loan they want to car change the car. Loan people man you name it so that's a call broadcast that they have uploaded your number even though i have mine on the do not call list they're still using it so right they call broadcast and uh i think i used and you can text too do you call text? you can text okay. also 
That's right. Send them a text. Hey, this is John. I got this property on four five six Main Street for eighty five thousand. Come and get yeah. it. Gotcha. I like Go that. to my website if you want to see these pictures or click on this link and you can see the pictures. Boom. Yeah. Well, you know, them sex, usually um, Section 8 buyers, they usually will pay a good dollar for them properties too, 80, 85%, because they looking to buy and hold. Yes. So yes they guy, they're looking to buy and hold. There's going to be some good <laughs> buyers. So they, they don't have to necessarily get it for 60, 60, 65% minus repair or 70% minus repair. If it's pretty much just need paint and carpet, man, you can pretty much sell them properties to them people. To, buy them. Uh, to the buy whole people for about 80, 85 percent. I gotta show you this. I gotta show you this, Eddie. This is what I have to deal with during the day. The dog is eating up eating this bed. Oh, look at him. What's up, buddy? You gonna be on the show today? Hey! Now he's stopped. He's eating his bed. Oh, here we go. He, he, he likes to eat the bed. Look at him. How old is he, Chris? Billy is only six months old. He like I I moved his bed. Now he wants to eat the bed, Eddie. Good God, pray for me, Eddie. Pray for me, brother. <laughs> okay, sorry, class. I just had to get that off my. Oh, good Lord. All right, so we got section eight list. You got any more you want to drop, Eddie? Before we get to questions. Mm -hmm. Nah. I think that's those pretty much good. We we get there's some good nuggets, man. Really, I mean, those are the best. I don't even know any more strategies. Put your questions well, I'm in the box. Sure we could think of some more stuff, but those are like the best strategies. Yeah, obviously there's an unlimited amount of stuff out there, but these to me, Eddie, this is those first three. And you you have to remind yourself, I have to do it too. This is a people business. In order for you to buy any house, you have to deal with a person, right? Right. In order for you to borrow money from somebody, you got to deal with a person. So in order for you to sell something, you, you're going to have to break out of that shell. You think you're going to be behind a computer doing virtual wholesale in your whole life? It's just not going to work. You know, I mean, I mean, you can make some money doing that. But if you want to sell your deals quickly, get them off, either you want to be on the street or hire somebody. Go ahead, Eddie. Well, and also now, if you got the extra capital, it's a couple of places you can go on and find cash buyers. I know list source, you can find cash buyers off that. But you can yes. actually, if you want to get straight to get straight to the money, buy your list, go to list source, find out on um, the buyers in that area, and I will voice drop them the property, like leave them a voice message or a text blast with the with the information. Yeah, I know. Are you? REWW has a list they pull for cash buyers with Ken Clothier too. But still, at the end of the day, Eddie, you either have to make the call, send the letter, or pay somebody to do it. Right. Right? Right. So you can get the list or the data for them, but they're still, they're not waiting for your call. It's not like they're sitting home waiting for Chris to call. Right. You the reach like, out. Huh? So you got to reach out to them. Reach out, people. Once again, it's a people, right? Yeah. And so, Sorry what I would do, I would, what I would do, if you did buy a list, just voice drop them with the property information, leave them a voicemail with the property information, and a text message. Text I'll message. probably hit them twice the same week. I like that. That's what I like to do when I hear any list. You know, I like to voice drop them. Excuse me. I like to voice drop them first and then a couple of days later, hit them with a text. Boom. Nice. Nice. All right, Eddie, let's get let's get to the question so we can get back to making some money today. Oh, yeah. Class, we do this for free. Just to let you know, with all this is done for free because we love you. You know, we love you. We want to see you succeed. Tawanda minus Rukard. Hey, good morning, Dominique, the college student at UNT. What's UNT? Got my first three leads off inmates that are incarcerated. Okay, many Man. illegal aliens. Wow. How should know the inmates? Is that a list we don't know about? Hey, let Dominique. us know about them. <laughs> illegal aliens in fear of deportation are as distressed as you can get. You right about that? Shit, well, that's a jackpot. Oh, she's in Deer. Oh, no, that's somebody else. Dominique, if you can share with us where you get that list from. Good gracious. Rashida Rabi. 
She loves rentals. You're in Deerfield, Florida. Thank you. Hey, A. Beezer. What's going on, Allison? Found some. Oh, okay. This is a good topic. Rashida, you found some private lenders on Facebook. They want an application fee. What do we think about lenders that want application fees that haven't proven themselves? Matter of fact, this is going to be our next topic. Man, whack me. I'm sick of this, dude. I'm sick of people taking advantage of our industry, Eddie. That's why investors got a bad name. Certain people are doing certain crazy stuff. Anytime you see, I remember Ronald Grant talking about he gave somebody two grand and he had to fight two years to get his money back. Anytime you got to pay somebody an absorbative application fee over 100, maybe 200 bucks, run the other way for money. You know, all they're doing is collecting application fees. Yeah. They probably got that business set up. That is their strategy, Eddie, to collect application fees. Right. I, uh, matter of fact, I had a coaching client, brother. He had somebody send him a business card with a bank on it. And he called the bank and they said they didn't know who the guy was. Dang. I think we're going to be covering that over the next few weeks, Rashida. Thank you for reminding me of that. So much to cover. What about me that know nothing about construction? How am I going to supervise a renovation? You want to hit that, Eddie? Rashida wants to know. I'm trying to look at these questions. Rashida, let's see. She what said, if I don't know, huh? What did Rashida say? Rashida said, what about me, people that don't know anything about construction? How can she supervise her project? Shit, don't use them. What the heck you walked up for on your project? <laughs> no, she blind said. Leading, hey, that's the blind leading the blind. Heck no. You no, she about, that. Her question is, she doesn't know about construction. How is she going to supervise a project? Uh, <laughs> you better get some help. <laughs> get, get, get somebody who's already done a couple of renovations, not one, not two. Somebody who got at least four or five, six under their belt. Find somebody quick. I don't know if you may have to pay them a couple of bucks a week to teach you, to train you, but you need to be with them walking through the house, let them give you some pointers. Stuff like that. Or me and Chris can mentor you, help you through the problem when you get started. Or even Billy. <laughs> nah. Eddie, what was that program that Preston Ellie came out with? That, that, uh, they've got cash buyers in the back office too. Mm. Freedom Solved. Oh, that's Preston stuff. Yeah. Again, I want to make sure I add that with it. Freedom Salt has a, you can just click on it and it'll have the cash buyers for the last six months, but they don't have every city. Freedom Salt is another one, guys. I just, you know, I'm just, huh? My boy Cameron got one too, Cameron Dunlap. You know the name of his? No, nah, I don't know it offhand. I know this is King, yeah. I just, you know, that whole internet stuff is just kind of, but I got to accept it, Eddie. Yes, it's Rashida, so if you don't know, huh? There's so much information. You can get caught up in all that information. Don't do one deal. So don't do one. Yeah. <laughs> keep it really basic, man. Because you can get caught up in this system, that system. You won't do anything. You're gonna be stagnant and like, oh my God, I got a million systems. What the hell am I gonna do with them? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the same way. You need one just to try one or two. All right. Forever note, come to Tampa. Okay, well, let's come shoot down there. Coast to coast affordable homes and housing. What do you think about cash money buying houses up front, then using the rent every year and buy one house per year? What do you think about cash money, buying a house cash up front, then using the rent every year and buy one? Okay, you're saving all the rent. I guess that would be a down payment because you can't make all the money back in that first year to buy a house. Yeah. What do you think about that, Eddie? I mean, that's okay. It's going to take you a while to do that, but it depends on your, your needs. You know, everybody's individual needs are different. So it depends yeah. on what you're looking to do. If you're okay, it's, it's going to take, it's going to take a, a while. Man. It's going to take a long process, but, you know, if you're studying, I mean, if, you, you, if you're doing it consistently, Consist then, you know, you'll get to a couple of properties in a couple of years. Yes. That's like a slow approach, though, to it. Well, to me, that what I what I did, Eddie, was what I do, and what I'm doing. When I do a flip, I just take all the profit and just try to sink it into a house somewhere, brother. Because if you spend it, man, you're back at square one, brother. 
Plus, you get to write it off at the 1031 tax exchange. You don't oh, have to pay yeah. no taxes on it. If you're buying something new, that's right. That's a good one. Yeah, if you're buying something new. Uh, okay. Darnell Davis, you're getting the subject. To, Columbus, Ohio, getting the subject to. Okay, yeah, just download the sub too, Doc. A. Beezer, what's up? Seems like you can find plenty of gyms with short sales in New York. I bet. The market up there is just like probably the biggest roller coaster in America. <clears throat> really? I mean, I would guess it's, it's the highest. I'm sure it has the potential to, to come down at any time. Jonathan Shanks. You can look on your local GIS website and look for look for LLC buyers too. Some Jonathan, thank you for bringing that up. Eddie, tell me how your city assessor sites. Can you type in like for us? I can't type in an owner name, or I have to just type in the address for my city assessor. I'm presuming Jonathan is talking about the city assessor site. How is your city assessor site in your area, Eddie? Yeah, you can do either the address or the name. Okay. Well, you can type and probably put LLC and all the LLCs that come up too. Yeah. That's a good one, Jonathan. Thanks for bringing that up. For your local city assessors, yeah, some are more detailed than others, more more sophisticated. Mine is kind of really slim. Matter of fact, one of the cities in Newport News, you can't even do a search. You got to have an address. Lakia, hey, Lakia, you're working on your head shape. Yes, good. Got to have a firm handshake when you meet people. That's important. I don't want no weak handshake. You coming up to me and want to make some money with me. I need to make sure you can handle some dollars coming through your hands. <laughs> right? Right. I know it's a slow approach, but I think, oh, this is back to that guy did the rentals. I know it's a slow approach, like you said, Eddie, uh, it, but it's a safe one, yes. Hey, what's, life, what's life without risk? Yeah, he doesn't trust financing with the banks. I hear you, brother. That's why you take them over subject too, baby. You ain't got to worry about financing or owning financing. That's right. You one day to the banks. You don't need the banks. They the bullies anyway. <laughs> man, those bankers, one day they call you, they say, hey, we need this, 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 and this. And if you don't got it, man, you in trouble. I have been there. Oh, yeah. I lost the house. The bank told me they want some documents. I couldn't provide them. They was like, okay. We got something for you. Basically, they, they did. They did. <laughs> Lakia, you got appointment today. Yes, let me know how it goes. Okay, luxury car store says the dollar store has foam board we can use for our signs, Eddie. Foam yeah, that's board. what it is. Foam board. Okay, all right. Get I'm the not... bright ones. Don't don't get just the white ones, y'all. Nobody gonna see that crap unless you use white, red, and you, you get a white board. Now use red and blue <coughs> markers so it stand out. So you have red, white, and blue on the side. I like that. You get like colors. If you do you get the colors, then you just use a black, black, good black sharpie. You okay. want a wide tip so they can see it from a distance. Say that Not again. Look, a, you want a wide tip on your your um, marker, so when you write it on the board, people can see it from a distance. Gotcha, gotcha. I like that, Eddie. I never even that's, that's a gem right there, bro. Raw love, he said he wants to call. Yeah, we, we're, we're working on our technology to have you guys be able to call in so we can answer questions. Darnell, there's a hack to find buyers on list source. You have to pay for the records. Pay for the record. Yeah, uh, Eddie was talking about on list source. Where can I, where can I find Lakia? Oh, Lord. Sorry, class. This thing is. Acting funny. Where can where Lakia wants to know where can I find LLC phone numbers? Yeah, that was, I think, I don't, well, you gotta uh, you can pull up the information of the Secretary of State who owns it, then you know you gotta skip trace the numbers yourself. Or you can mail to the addresses or whatever. Rewind, hey, slow that down for me. slow that down a little bit for me so I can follow you. So, so we got an LLC. Phone. We got an LLC. Go ahead. Okay, so you got an LLC owner, you want to find out. How to contact them? They first you can either Google them, see if their number come up. Just put the LLC in there. Then if it don't pull up, LinkedIn is another source. Put it in on LinkedIn, or just go on the Secretary of State website, pull up the company, and find out the individual owners. Skip trace them and come and call them, or mail them a letter. However you want to contact them. That's when you go to the State Corporation Commission site, 
that's going to give you the authorized agent. Right. Exactly. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. Good. That's a good one, Eddie. Raw love. I'm looking to link with anybody from Florida, Tampa. Yeah, y'all. The gold is in the networking class. The gold is in the network networking. Rosanna from Cali. What up? Some title offices can provide a list of investors. Yes, I've heard they do that on the West Coast. We don't have that out here. No. Lakeo, he got that. Rosanna, Chris, when you say Section 8, are you referring to landlords on Section 8? You're not talking about the tenants, correct? Yes. Yes, the tenants would probably not have cash to buy a house, or they probably would. Rosanna, but yes, I'm talking about, uh, please forgive me, when you're contacting the Section 8 landlords, that's when you get the list, you'll see the phone numbers to the owners of the property. Good question. Good question. John, a lot of he's found a lot of cash buyers at the golf course in the country club. Yeah, that's, hey, that's a gold mine. Yeah, that's a good one there. You gotta have some some skill to go open up the conversation. Do you ever market to a living assisted facilities or bail bonds, Eddie? This is from Rich Cassio. Mm, no, I haven't. You mean we offer are you talking about for cash buyers or for people selling? Rich, tell me about a little, little more about that marketing. Darnell King, meetup groups. Look, oh, yeah. I mean, no, we missed one, Eddie. The local Rias have got cash buyers hanging out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that, now, that's a good one, too. Good free one. Thanks, Darnell. That's from Darnell Davis. Thank you for dropping that, brother. Chuck Money, Chuck Money. Coral Springs. Oh, man, you had a huge crash. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Cape Coral. Is it Coral? With Collaborate. Yeah, you guys, please connect with each other. John, would you advise a contractor that flips houses to do some work themselves? Would you advise a contractor that flips houses to do the work themselves or sub it all out? <coughs> what do you think, Eddie? Man, you want to hire somebody. Trust me, you don't want to be doing that work, man. I, I miss stuff like that couple of times you think you're saving money you go in there trying to fix the property up yourself oh hey no take it it's gonna take you too long to get the job done you lose you money. Pay, you got hard money or private money you got to pay them every month so the longer you take to flip the house get it ready you're cutting into your profit yeah and i was so crazy chris man i tried to do two houses at the same time two renovations now i pay i outsource certain things but I should have did it. I outsourced everything. But everything. I thought I was saving some freaking money, man. I'm up here working myself like a dog, man. Back and forth. Man, my wife's like, my wife pissed off because I don't have no time. And I'm just got my little contract to close on. <laughs> I'm going back and forth. Wearing myself out, man. Oh my God. You, 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 you took a you took a demotion. Huh? You demoted yourself. Oh yeah. Big time. Eddie, what's your email, man, so I can put it in here for people who want to contact you? I always forget. Um, put Eddie, E D D I E, at A is an Apple, I is an Isaac, S is in Sam, the number two, day, D A Y dot com. So that's Eddie at A I S, the number two, day, D A Y dot com. So, uh, okay, let me get back here. Anybody wants coaching or consultation, our email is below. Yeah. Yeah, hire it all out. You think you're saving money doing the work? Oh, in Jesus. Oh, in Jesus. I promise you, you are demoting yourself to a painter. You're demo And I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with these positions, but if you're an owner flipping the property, Eddie, he just said it, man, you're, you're, you're putting yourself in the shoes of an hourly worker as opposed to the owner looking for money and looking for houses, would you say? Man, that's the worst thing you can do, man. That's <laughs> the worst oh, thing. Man. And then I, I didn't learn the first from the first rehab. It took me a couple of more to learn. And really? I looked better. I was taught better. But you always think you can just cut some money and save you a little money. Man, that's the biggest lie. Deception it is. We all do the same thing, hey, man. We all do this. I'm like, I can save 50 bucks by doing don't do it. Outsource it and get the job done. 
Because I think, re especially when I was doing them two rehabs, Chris, if I would have paid somebody to do both of the rehabs now, they probably needed about 20 a piece of them. Chris, it's supposed to took a month for each rehab. You know how long it took me to do both of those rehabs? How long? Probably about five months, man. You joking. Five to six months going back and forth, over here, over there, over here, over there. Because you were doing it. Yeah, I'm doing the freaking rehab, man. See, the problem, class, is time. You don't consider when you're over there swinging a hammer or cutting grass or painting, you don't think about the time. That's, that that's, the, that's the most value asset. Most value. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, one with John. Would you advise a contractor? Okay, Forever Noble is on her third. I don't know if it's his or her. I'm sorry. Is on his or hers third month and hasn't found a wholesale deal. Is that normal, Eddie? Good God. It depends on what you're doing. What how you marketing it to? How are you marketing it to for the for the um, wholesale deal? That's Eddie, I know question. people been doing this business for two, three years. They ain't found something. I mean, they you know they looking looking. I mean, it, everybody's different. I would say. Yeah. And then I know people have been in the business for a month and got made 10 grand. Right. I think my, my first deal I made 15 grand. Oh, oh I gotta show you I gotta show you the picture, Chris. I was so excited. Why <laughs> I'm looking at it now, man. I took a picture with the money and everything. I was so excited, man. <laughs> Let me get the picture. <laughs> this does work. This does work. The thing is, let me get back to you. Who was this? Forever Noble. You're a wholesaler. You, you got to, uh, unfortunately, if you're not, it's all about numbers, you know? And I want to thank you guys. Last month, we had four and a half million minutes watched on YouTube. Wow. All about the numbers. If you're not looking at a whole lot of deals, if you just want to wholesale, <clears throat> every deal you have come through, all you can do is look for nails. All you have is a hammer, so you're looking for a nail. It's not like you have all these different strategies in your tool belt, like a screwdriver or some type of a wrench to do different deals so you can actually take on different type of acquisitions. Like Eddie's a transaction engineer, if you will, forever noble. So you got a hammer, right? Every deal that, the only deal that's gonna make sense to you is the one that has a nail. So you have to look through the marketplace and you're looking through the toolbox looking through the haystack if you don't have a deal if you don't have a nail then you won't see that deal so it just takes longer typically brother i'm gonna say brother or sister i don't know uh forever noble i don't know if you're male or female six to nine months unless you're looking all day every day you know that's with a few hours a day all right how much you coaching just shoot us an email on the coaching we got i'll send you april yes just send us a information on the co on the uh coaching and i'll get back to you on that rashida you were watching my hard money versus private money last night praise god thank you for your support you think i can do you think i can use a hard money lender to buy a rental then work on refinancing at six months to a year mm. well that is a viable who asked that question did you hear that one eddie yeah, but why would you want to use them for a rental? I mean, I would use, I would well, teach his own. But you know, I, I I use hard I use private money lenders, you know, to do host, you know, to do um rehabs and stuff. She's talking about hard money, Eddie. Oh, to buy it and refinance. Yeah. Yeah, she, she can't wants to get the regular. She probably can't get a regular loan on that. No, yeah, you're gonna have to get hard money and refinance up. Well, it I just depends on uh, it depends on her extra strategy. Do you really want to refinance out? Of course, you're gonna pull some money out, but do you want to refinance out and be, you know, a landlord? Yeah, that's what she wants to do. But she wants to hold it. Oh, she want to hold it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a good strategy. Make sure you got enough equity so when you refinance, you can pull a little money out and put it into another property. That is one way to look at it. Yep. What I recommend is going if you need a if you if you can qualify for a loan to, to refinance, which I cannot, I would go to your local bank to look for a construction to permanent loan. A construction to permanent loan. See who offers construction. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's called destruction to burn. In this day and time, man, you you should be able to find some of those. Everybody want to lend out some money right now, as long as you. Oh my God. God. They are begging to the lend. They they give. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, they they lenders are looking for. The problem is not the money class. If you if you have to change your mindset in business, money is everywhere. They want they look their lenders are looking for good solid borrowers with a plan. Yeah, they're looking for people that has the plan that can get the job done. If you don't fit that category, don't even holler at me with no money. I mean, don't even don't even <laughs> don't go to the lender. You know, get your plan together. You know, I wish I had twenty five cent Eddie every time I heard all I need is the money. If I only had the money, I could do this deal. You gotta have a plan. Here, though, For me, but you gotta have a plan. If people got money, but they're not just gonna give it to you because you think you can flip a house. Shit, they wanna see some facts. They wanna know how they gonna get their money back if you fumble the ball at the one yard line. <laughs> they right. wanna know how they gonna get their money back first. So I always <laughs> tell a person how their money is secured first, then get into the detail. There you go. They want to know about the security first. What you going to show me, Eddie? You got a check there, pictures? Oh, my first um, deal, man, back in 05. Good God. I made 15000 on this old joke. Let me see. You can see it. <laughs> oh, let me show you the check. Let me see. You can see that check. 14. You can see it. 14. I got a $1,000 earnest money. I think you can see it at the bottom. That just came off a flyer, man. We put a flyer on our vacant house. The lady called back and hey, it was showtime. First wholesale deal, man. It changed my life. Good for you, Eddie. But that didn't come overnight. I mean, you were grinding, you were grinding eight hours a day at that time. Or well, working on deals. Yeah. Yeah, I was mailing, sit, putting postcards, I mean flyers out. We man, we was aggressive. Now that you've been in the business so a while, you kinda you don't have to be that aggressive no more once you know how to really get it working. Yeah, autopilot. What's a good, Darnell wants to know a good way to target pre foreclosure lists. Eddie, we were talking about that earlier today. Yeah, we got some mailers going out um, today, actually. See, pre Eddie has a built in market down there with what is it called? Hub, List, Hub, Home Depot? Equity Depot. Yeah, Eddie has that down there. I don't know what state you're in, Darnell, but different states have different things. Tax delinquency, yeah, that's gonna be R E W W. You can try that one too. I'll subscribe to them. Hey, Chris, I'm so hungry on that first deal. I didn't even have an LLC or nothing set up. I'm looking at the check now. I did it in my, in my own name. I was saying, hey, I had to get the check, Chris. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that, Eddie. I tell people all the time stop worrying about set W L L C and managing members and mailing addresses. You need to worry about getting a check. Yep, websites and all that stuff, man. Just go at it first. Get you some money, then you can implement all the rest of the stuff. Gotcha. Because a lot of people, man, a lot of like a lot of I would call them distraction. A lot of distractions that try to come your way to make you think you're really working, but you're really not working. You're doing busy work, but it's not productive work. Yeah. So don't get caught up in busy work, guys. Get caught up in production. You know what? That's so true, Eddie. If you could think about how many minutes out of the day you're really in being getting productive. Yeah. yeah. I was listening to Brian Tracy. He was like, he, his business had went down. He was doing good in one of his businesses. And then he realized he wasn't making any money anymore. So he said he was like 30 days away from being evicted and all kind of stuff like that. So he said what he did, he shifted his focus. He put 70% into sales and marketing. And he said within two or three months, he was back on his feet. Marketing. So the main focus needs to be put on sales. That means you're getting some money. Marketing means you getting the buyers so you can make the money. Mm -hmm. So those mm -hmm. need to be the key focus and all that other little extra stuff. You can outsource to a VA for a couple of dollars a month. Hey, Eddie, I'm going to have to, unfortunately, dude, I have to go to this rehab, man. It's 1 o'clock. We've been on here for an hour. we got about 20 more questions. Okay. I, well, huh? I'll see if I can answer, answer some. Um, I know you got to go. I can't leave this thing on. This thing will stay on all day if I'm gone. 
no, no, no. Don't leave them. I just answer them through the um through the YouTube. Oh yeah, 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 Eddie. Thank you. Okay, listen, class. We got to get out of here. We got to make some money. Uh, if you want, there is a super chat. We can answer your question first. I think it costs like five bucks. But if you want us to answer your question first, I'm more than happy to do that to make sure we get to it. But take some time out of your day. Subscribe to my channel below. <clears throat> Eddie, what's the last What you want to leave our viewers for today's class, brother? Uh, it's a good quote. I, I see. It's a good quote I seen today when I was in the gym. It said, obstacles are encountered when eyes are taken off the goal. So they're going to come regardless, guys, but you got to be so hungry and so determined that you don't even see the obstacles. You jump over, kick them out of the way, boom! I got to have this deal no matter what I got to close. And you got that mindset and that mentality, you got to close because you believe you're going to close. I like that. I like that. Action. Action. Thank you. Thank you. I like to leave this last thought too. I went, I was at a restaurant the other day, a real rinky dink restaurant, but I went to the bathroom and they had a sign over the over the urinal. It said, uh, character. Worrying about someone else distracts from how good you can be. Mm -hmm. Worrying about other people distracts distracts from how good you can be. So I'm saying that to say, I hear a lot about people saying other, I, I saw a guy do this, he's doing that, he's doing X deals, he's doing this many deals. That shit will put you in the grave. Yeah. Worrying about what other people are doing, you have to focus on whatever plans. Tony Robbins always says, focus on your, on your state, your state of mind, and stop worrying about what everybody else is doing. Get your little plan together. If we can, Eddie and I can help you, Email us. I'm more than happy to help as much as we can, but stop worrying about the other guy because right. also Simmons said we need a comfortable seat for each of you. Need your own comfortable seat. You don't need to be the 50 deal a year guy. You don't have to be the Grant Cardone of the world that own allegedly owns all this real estate. And you know to have a comfortable seat in life. Right. I just want to leave you guys with that. All right, Eddie. All right, guys. Peace out. Chris. Make sure you, any other any other cash any other cash buyer comments put them in, put them in the comments so we can share them with our viewers. Subscribe to the channel, and I'm out. Peace, Chris Haskins. Peace.